first test pan. Small, but 15 tiny colors. I like it. Yeah, just a little shout out to John Haggerty. I came home to an email today. He was trying to place an order for a three foot riverbed hog. Didn't have one in stock, so we fixed it and got him a three foot riverbed hog. Put Maryland on the map. Thanks, John. Take care. All right. So it's been a minute since I've shot footage last. It's like two hours or better minute. I did my first test pan over in here. And that's where I got the 15 colors. And the only boulders that were here is this big one here and that one underneath the other rocks that are on top of it over there. This was a great big void, pretty deep void. So I took big boulders from over, I mean big boulders from over in here, fought with them to get them over in place. The one that's underneath the gold trap is one of them. That's a big sucker. And I got a setup, I'm not too crazy about it. It's working, but it's not ideal. And I've been digging in here, and of course Hung, when I got to their place and parked, she said that she was gonna come up in about an hour, and it's been, like I said, over, over two and a half, well, close to three hours. So I just went up looking for her and I found her, I found her up there, so she's gonna come down in a minute, but I'm gonna keep digging right in here for a little bit longer and do a clean out and see what I get and maybe move, I don't know. But anyway, it's a good spot. It's the beginning of an inside bend. When Appalachian Gold Prospectors were here, Prospector Jack was digging right up about here and he did good. And Hilly Billy, Hillbilly John was down a little bit further. So, I'm hoping. I'll keep you posted. Alright, so I was just down there. I did a clean out about 15-20 minutes after I shot last. And I got more in my test panning than I did after going through all the trouble of building that dam and running all that material which is only about maybe 45 minutes of digging, but still, just wasn't worth it. So I came back up here, Hung's over there across the river, and pretty soon, y'all, anybody who's been on my channel for a while know, knows that I have uh, what I call my redneck hookah, <laughs> which is just a lawn tractor inner tube with a one inch clear hose duct tape to it and then I hook that to either my snorkel or my full face mask and of course when you get down to you know three feet or better there's pressure on your lungs and it's hard to breathe so I've just ordered a actual dive hookah um, it's the pump compressor for it and 30 feet of line with a regulator so now I've just got to get a battery and I'll be able to get down and dive and this deep hole has been calling to me for a long time now. So this is definitely one of the spots that I'm going to be hitting. A lot of big boulders down there to move. But there's got to be some gold down there because this is where the water rushed across and etched all of this out. And I found some nice chunky gold up in here. So heavier gold's going to drop out. And of course, you've got the main current slamming into it, but anything that comes across and gets to this point, there's a low pressure zone because of this big boulder. So down in here has got to be pretty decent. Just a matter of doing the work. So now I am going to, I'm gonna dig right on this rock right here, follow it down, move these boulders, and see if I can find anything in here. Or I did this crevice last year, some of you saw that. But up in here, if I can get some of those bigger rocks dislodged and dig down, maybe there might be something there. But I'll, I'll just poke around over here. I don't think I can get a setup. I left my gold trap over there up behind Hung. But I've got new uh, neoprene boots with a good sole on them this year and they're slippery as all get out on rocks I don't like that so I don't know if I want to try to 
I could get a setup right there, but geez, I don't know. But anyway, I'll see what I can do here. All right, two pans so far. I panned them down. I panned the first one down so far, and then panned the second one back just to see what was in it. Two pans, five pieces. One of them's fairly good size, 30 plus at least. So I'm going to keep on digging this out. There's a big rock. Well, not big, big, but flat. Maybe a piece of bedrock. This is all shaley right in here. So I got to get that revealed. I'll let you know after I'm done. Or in between. Catch you in a bit. then following day yesterday we did get gold and I do have it in my snuffer bottle and I'll show you the the end results when I'm done here today but uh, I'm back at the other spot where I've cleaned out some crevices and done pretty good so I've stopped I'm just down from one of the better spots that I've worked other than one down even further but I'm seeing potential up in here underneath this stuff it looks like there's stuff that could be broken out some really good deteriorating material up in here these pieces these pieces maybe and that piece right there and there is some material on this side and probably underneath as well so I figured I'd stop here and give this a try. I really want to make it down even further. But my dry path does not exist right now. And with that current, it's hard to see the shelf that you walk on. But I can feel for it. So I'll let you know what happens here. Catch you in a bit. First pan I took out of here, just scratching the surface basically. 13 pieces. One of them is good size. Nice. Now well, I've made my way down a little bit further. Got to this point with my backpack on and my pry bar and my shovel in my hand and my bucket in my hand with my shoes in it and my shirt because up there further I had no choice but to take my shirt off and set my bucket and stuff. These, these new water shoes that I've got and these rocks, you want to talk about slippery, you might as well be walking on ice. So I get to this point carrying everything. And my foot slipped and down I went. <laughs> Backpack in the water with the camera inside of it. But nothing got in the pocket, but still. Shirt got soaked, my shoes didn't get soaked. But whatever. And this mover, this water is moving along at a pretty good clip. I don't know, with these slippery damn boots. I don't know if I want to try to cross this or not, but right over there. Is where I did really, really good last year, cracking out bedrock. All right, shirt, shoes are over there. I managed to make it across with nothing. A little bit sketchy. And I said to hell with it, I'm gonna grab my backpack, classifier, pry bar, shovel, and bucket, and leave my shirt and shoes over there. And uh, there's a nice pocket right here. There's got to be something in that, um, maybe in here, but also on the other side of this, there's some nice crevicing that can be done. So, I'm going to take a look here, uh, give you a peek at it, make my way around these rocks. Uh, a lot of sand on top but get over in here there's some gravels the question is what's underneath it all I mean these pieces all look like they could 
possibly break out. It depends on how badly they're pinned in. But this is another good target area. So we'll see what I can do. Catching a wall. dug this down fairly decent. I didn't scrape the bottom by any means, but I probably did about seven pans, panned it back, added more, panned it back, added more. It was only seven little tiny flower gold pieces in this. So, I don't know, kind of shocking, but I did manage to get a pretty decent amount of gold today. Put this stone in there. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. That one piece over there in the corner got black on it. Quite chunky. Alright, so that's going to conclude today. 
I gotta hike out of here and hopefully not stumble and fall anymore. <laughs> oh, cut my finger, fell down, almost got my camera wet, just about fell again, almost got my camera wet again. Can't have it. Can't have it. How am I supposed to shoot video if I get my camera wet and give you guys some footage to see? So, thank you all for coming. Those of you who have not subscribed, please feel free to do so. All of you who have, I thank you. This channel would be nothing without you. And don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment. Green Mountain Gold Trap's gonna hike out of here. Head home, see if my van got fixed yet. Well, it got fixed, but there was some more that needed to be done. So, we'll catch y'all later. Hey, back at the house now. This is my little brother, Mike, AKA T. Little. Yeah, little brother. Keyword. <laughs>